Yo, what is going on YouTube man? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in with me here today. Today we're diving into the Manhattan's Kiss and Say Goodbye, man. I was scrolling through the YouTube hole and found this one uh, sitting out there hanging on the tree, man. I picked a fruit, brought it here, and I'm about to slice into it, all right? Thank you guys. If y'all want a piece, man, enjoy a slice. Let's get into this thing together, although many of you might have tasted this fruit before, all right? Yeah, that's a weird way of Talking about this is just what came to mind right now, okay? And sometimes I just go with it, man. I just go with it. So that's what we got right here, man. Thank you guys for tuning in with me today, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out that description if you guys are enjoying the content I put out on a daily basis, man. Here we go. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Here we are. This has got to be the saddest day of my life. Let's play that back. Gentleman's got a voice. This has got to be the saddest day of my life. I called you here today for a bit of bad news. I won't be able to see you anymore because of my obligations and the ties that you have. We've been meeting here every day. And since this is our last day together, I want to hold you just one more time. I got goosebumps, man. When you turn and walk away, don't look back. I want to remember you just like this. <laughs> Let's just kiss and say goodbye. Today. All right then. There's just so many things to say. Please don't stop me till I'm through. This is something I hate to do. Oh, that's cold. 
Was that special, man? Was that special or what, dude? Mmm. That's a heartbreak song. And that's a singing song, man. Oh, I am a little bit emotional. I'm sh oh, man, I got goosebumps, boys. Um, and ladies. Kiss and say goodbye. That was a phenomenal song. These guys really did it, man. They did it. Uh, you come in with that deep voice, man, just commanding the situation, letting you know, girl, don't. Don't say nothing. I just want to remember you exactly as you are in this moment. It's going to hurt me. I'm going to miss you, but we got to say goodbye. For some reason, slit down the middle, man, is gone. Uh, and then, you, then you got this other guy coming in with these high, silky vocals. Um, and really sending it home for us. This thing's not floating anymore, man. <laughs> Someday she'll find another guy, and don't you cry, baby. Let's just kiss and say goodbye. It's over. It's a sad, sad love song, and he is delivering it, man. I love that pause and that that drumming, just imitating that heartbeat. Doop, 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 doop. I mean, that was cold. That was cold. This was great, man. He sang it so good, man. This is one of them ones. It better not ever fade from mankind, man. The, the time better keep bringing this up to the surface, man. This was one of those ones for all times. Manhattans. Okay, you're, you're recognized, baby. Thank you so much for doing what you did here for me, man. Let's go ahead and learn a little bit about this one. This is sweet, sweet to listen to, man. I know it ain't sweet content. You know, break up, but it's sweet to listen to, man. This thing was just great on the ears, man. All right, so right here, ladies and gentlemen, we got Kiss and Say Goodbye, man. This one is a single from the Manhattans, released in 1976, man. The songwriter on this one is Winfred. Love it, all right? You got this considered as R&B in Philadelphia soul. Woo! Give it to me, man. Give it to me, baby. I'm here for it. Loved it, man. It was written by the group member Winfred Lovett, the bass singer, uh, the bass singer and songwriter of the group who did the song Spoken Introduction. So he's got that bass voice, man. The song was recorded uh, for the album The Manhattans, released in 1976, man. Um, it became a worldwide success, appearing in musical charts of countless countries all right uh we got down here the song was written by manhattan bass singer winfred blue lovett who also provided the spoken introduction heard in both the full-length lp version and the commercial single the lyrics and melody came to him late one night as he later recalled everything was there i got up about three o'clock in the morning and jotted down the things i wanted to say i just put the words together on my tape recorder and a little piano i've always thought that when you write uh slow songs they have to have meaning in this case it's the love triangle situation we've all been through. I figured anyone who's been in love could relate to it, and it seemed to touch home for a lot of folks. A love triangle, but he's breaking it off, right? So does that mean that he uh, found himself another woman, and he's breaking it off with his girl, and just saying, hey, one day you'll find another man the way I kind of found another woman? I don't know. That's what it sounds like to me, but I'm not sure. Love it originally considered the song a country tune more appropriate to be sung by Glenn Campbell or Charlie Pride. He decided to do it with his group, the Manhattan's lead singer, Gerald uh, Alston, is featured in the song Starting to Sing After Love It's Spoken Introduction. Well, I think you made the complete correct decision right here, man. This was such an amazing song to hear. It's perfect, man. It just staples right to you man it, i mean you feel this one man it i couldn't imagine it being done any better than what it was done right here this is exactly perfect to me you know when you got a perfect one you got a perfect one man and, and i think this was perfect so let's learn a little bit about the manhattans right here you got them out of jersey city new jersey in the united states man genres they covered were rhythm and blues philadelphia soul and soul they started in 1962 and it says they're still going today in some form, and I wonder, family members, what's the deal? Uh, but you do see past members. They all got a nickname, right? You got Ricky, Smitty, Wally, Sonny, and Blue. So I'm assuming these are probably the original members since they all kind of got their own nicknames. Um, and looking up here, I mean, I can see, quickly see these nicknames popping up. Smitty, Sonny, Blue, Wally, uh, and Ricky. So it doesn't look like to me maybe any of the original members are there but i like to think maybe family members man unless it's just uh the well you got weiss somebody somebody's still going right there um that says weiss oh and there's gerald all 
Okay, so there's Mr. Gerald Alston, the one who sang on this song. So it looks like maybe he's still rocking out there too. Looks like you got split. Maybe the Manhattans of Sonny Bivens and the Manhattans featuring Gerald Alston. So maybe two forms of the group out there right now today. Interesting stuff. That's the first time I've seen that, man. So rocking with it, rocking with it. Very much beautiful work by these guys, man. They killed this was phenomenal to listen to. So thank you guys for rocking with me here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you shed a tear. I was almost there, man. They, they always have me tearing up. I'm like, buck up, young one. Buck up. Stop it. So there we go, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let me know if there's more from the Manhattans to tune in. If you guys enjoy myself and the content I put out, man, consider becoming a member here on my YouTube or Patreon. Great way to support me. If you guys are enjoying the content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out the description, man. Great way to support the channel. Thank you, guys. I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.